In this video, I'll talk about freeway level of service, and we'll focus on the key parameters for level of service related to freeways, which is density. Freeway level of service is categorized as A through F, similar to, similar to grades in school, where A is preferred from a driver's perspective, and F is the least desirable level of service. Level of service is also directional, so different directions of a road, north or south or east or west, may have different level of service, and they also typically differ by the time of day and day of the week. For freeways, level of service is based on density, referred to as passenger cars per mile per lane. And when we talk about passenger cars, these are kind of idealized passenger cars, so if the vehicle fleet is made up of heavy vehicles, so trucks and RVs, they will be converted to passenger car equivalents so that different roadways can be compared uh, consistently to each other. So in, in this image we see a freeway. This is fl flowing free freely, so this would be level of service A in both directions. So again we have one direction east that can differ from the west direction in terms of its level of service. And again, the level of service based on density in passenger cars per mile per lane. When you look at density, it's subsequently related to speed and the flow of the traffic, but density is a more reliable measure. You can count it. You can look at a one mile section of road, you're looking at one lane, and actually compute the density of the traffic more easily than the speed or the flow. Looking at A through F, the Highway Capacity Manual gives us the thresholds for level of service for freeways, where level of service A is anything from 11 passenger cars per mile per lane and lower. This is completely free-flowing condition, and the operating speeds will be efficient. Drivers can choose their own speeds and their lane they want to be in. Level of service B is greater than 11 and up to 18 passenger cars per mile per lane. And this is stable flow. We go to level of service C, greater than 18 and up to 26. This is reasonable and uniform flow, but the operating speeds start to get degraded at level of service C. So at this point, drivers aren't able to choose the exact speed they want to in all cases. Level of service D is approaching unstable flow. And again, we still have, we're having a larger effect on operating speeds. Those operating speeds are lower. Level of service E is unstable flow, so at any moment in level of service E, the flow uh, can, can really degrade substantially. This is greater than 35 passenger cars per mile per lane and up to 45. And then when we reach level of service F, this is forced flow, or typically it's, it's denoted by the stop and go type movement, and this is when occurs when you have greater than 45 passenger cars per mile per lane. So we can add vehicles to this one mile section of freeway and still be in level of service A. And we can continue to add more and more. This takes us into level of service B. So we start increasing the density of vehicles in this lane and continue to add more and more. Now we're in level of service C, approaching level of service D. Continue until we reach our unstable or force flow conditions of level of service E and F.